7th Avenue, 33rd floor, New York, New York, 10106. Now, for all you Trump supporters and cue balls, let me explain this to you once again. These people will never be arrested. There is never going to be any lock her up. You people, you cue balls and Trump supporters are on a list of the first to be annihilated. Because you actually went out there and put your faith into a billionaire who borrowed money from Soros. His son-in-law owed Soros a billion dollars who went to Israel allegedly took a billion dollar bribe to get Jerusalem named as the capital of Israel. Up until the alleged part. And those who are paying for the illegal settlements are members of the World Zionist Organization. And that is why Pompeo and Pence and Trump came out and said uh, anti-Semitism is anti-Zionism. And they tied both of them together. So now if you're an anti-Zionist, you're an anti-Semitic. William Henry Gates III, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, <laughs> Foundation of the Created Disease, P.O. Box 23350, Seattle, Washington, 98102. Michelle, oh, I'm sorry, Michael O. Levette, former Secretary of Health and Human Services, 200 Independent Avenue, Southwest, Washington, D.C., 20201. Jeffrey Tyen Taubenberger, something like that, NAID, Intramural Branch, 661. Rockledge Drive, room 4017, MSC 606, Bethesda, Maryland, 20892-6606. You know, there's a repeating theme in these addresses, isn't there? James Robinson's National Institute for Biological Standards and Control, Lock Lane, South Mims, Potter's Bar, yeah, well, there's your address in stupid Canada. And your stupid addresses. Ruben Zero, um, O, Zero, <laughs> Ruben Zero Donis, Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. Like I said, a lot of these people have been replaced, but as the people who had the uh, position, like these people, and new ones come in, they still are paid with your tax dollar to advise the new incoming person to continue the agenda. Rick A. Bright, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Mail Stop, 1600 Clinton Road, Atlanta, Georgia, 30333, United States. Now, these are, these are the top defendants, and I want to point out something <coughs> here. And this is not in any way, shape, or form to defend the Clintons, Hillary, or Bill Clinton. But you notice, Their names aren't on there. Okay, so, um, and what that means is that, um, and if you bother to listen or read this report, they were actually charged with this. But of course, their octopus arms and branches branch so many places and everywhere. It didn't go anywhere. And this goes back to what I said about the generals and the military and the U.S. military. There's enough evidence for the generals to step in and defend, defend the American people and the Constitution from foreign and domestic enemies. 
They did nothing. And they did nothing because they're part of it. So all you enlisted people, you're stupid. All you are is a body there to go kill who they say so they can kill the rest of us. Now you saw what happened in Ukraine. When a brother wouldn't fight against a brother, they just put a gun to their head and said, you, you either kill your neighbor or we'll kill you and your family. And that's how they solved that. The above defendants have given support in form of funds, logistics, skills, license, and cover to covert programs of mass genocizing using an artificial, there it is, artificial virus and mass vaccinations with toxin vaccines. Specifically, defendant President Barack Obama, who as part of his office, will oversee the implementation of the International Partnership of Avian and Pandemic Influenza, which would give primacy, primacy to the World Health Organization and United Nations of the U.S. law and government agencies in the event of the pandemic being declared. President Obama has also requested $1.5 billion emergency appropriation to deal with the swine flu, including development of the vaccine. Now, obviously he's not president anymore, but you know he's still active. But what he did do, and his um, executive orders still stand, is he took control of the production of food from A to Z. And that was the backup plan. If they weren't able to get uh, forced vaccinations in the U.S., they're just going to put in your food. And putting, having indoor farming, forcing farms, the pigs indoors and cattle and not moving, and all you morons out there are still eating that food. Um, with animal suffering, that's the fastest way to create new viruses <clears throat> and deadly flus is to put all those animals in a contained environment enclosed with all their shit and piss and food 24 hours 24 7 so what happens is it incubates in their lungs and their intestines so the anytime the CDC or whoever it is, FDA wants to come in and say they're infected, they'll always be infected because they are infected because of the environment. But the real purpose of this is to grow new diseases because of the environment. You live in a filthy, dirty environment. Um, it starts to grow in your lungs, sometimes in your ears, uh, but mostly in your lungs and intestines and your nostrils. Uh, you can even test this yourself. Don't flush your toilet for a week and um, lock yourself in the bathroom for at least three hours. You'll find that um, you, your nose will start to run. You'll have a lot of mucus in your nose. Your tonsils will swell. And your body's creating a defense to the toxic environment. But at the same time, a new virus or bacteria is being created within your body, which is a big petri dish. All right, uh, probably over 15 minutes, which I didn't really want to go, but defendant David Nabarro, who as a senior UN system influenza coordinator will implement an emergency response plan in the event of de declared pandemic on US territory operating through authorities under the WTO North American Free Trade Agreement and the UN Food and Agriculture Organization and taking precedence over the US government agencies and law. Now here's the thing, and we published this, and I think you might have taken it down. They, they, the thing with us is they never tell us they take down a, a video. They just take it down. We do not get, um, what is that, dinged or exed or violations we don't get violations they just take our they just take the video down and hope we don't notice and with our current situations with Gideon aging out and him bringing me in and 
uh, was very reluctant to get involved in all of this. I don't normally check to see if they're there. But anyway, so they, they get away with it. And every once in a while, I'll notice that it's not there and just repost it. Defendant HHS is in the process of working with vaccine manufacturers and facilitate, facilitate production of pilot vaccines lots for the H5N1 and H9N2 strains. Okay, what I, what I forgot to mention was, um, and I believe it's in this report, it might have been in another one we posted, but before Barack Obama left office, you know, he did a lot of his assigned wicked task in his last two weeks. He had these adjudicants added to already ready vaccines. And adjudicants can be aluminum and other than oils that they put in, in them. Uh, they didn't, the vaccine companies didn't stop using formaldehyde because parents complained. It, it interrupted the process. To understand this, if you're having a hard time, gemet, gemet, <laughs> genetically modified organi organisms create your food. That piece of corn that you see, your eyes see a piece of corn. It cooks like corn. It doesn't really smell like corn, but sometimes it smells like corn. But it doesn't taste like corn. And your body, when you eat it, knows it isn't corn. Your body sees it as it is. A huge parasite. So... Once it hits the stomach, it starts attacking the food. What you think is corn, it's attacking a, a huge parasite or a bunch of parasites because that is what the food is. The food is made up of parasites. And every virus and every bacteria is made of parasites. Oh, that's a big secret and everybody will argue and blah, blah, blah. And I really don't give a fuck what you say. And you can argue and yell at me till the cows come home. But that's the honest to God truth. Every disease is a parasite, and that is why they are so easy to manufacture new ones. Because you are what you eat, and a parasite is what it eats, or is fed. And on we go. Defend it. DHS has prepared. Oh, I already read that. Okay. The FDA, FDA is responsible. So you have, you know, your president um, saying, oh, we're going to help the American people. We're going to save the American people. We're going we're to vaccinate the American people, knowing that this is the time we're going to kill the American people with the virus. And then the media and everything's all controlled and say, you know, uh, oh, there's an outbreak of this here, a swine flu outbreak of here. And then oh, it looks like the...